This is a simulation of Flight 1549, which uh, landed in the Hudson River near New York City earlier this month. You can fly this flight yourself with Google Earth's Flight Simulator. All you need to do is first visit this link to get the flight path and setup instructions, and then start the flight simulator with Control A. You'll see something like this, and you start up the throttle by hitting the Page Up key. Click the mouse to have the white plus cross crosshair and pull back. Now this is flying a F-16 which is not the same as the airliner that uh, was taken off and it moves around quite a bit more. It's much more maneuverable than uh, an airliner. Um, I've had to put a lot of flaps and reduce the throttle to simulate the speeds of an airliner and the actual speeds that were um, reported for this flight in the uh, flightaware.com website uh, that recorded the flight. And one thing that I've done here is simulated the actual altitudes as the airliner is taking off. Um, and the this is a normal takeoff in terms of the flight path. And it is, at this point, things are normal, uh, nothing it's just a normal takeoff and, and uh, ascent. But uh, here shortly at about 27 minutes past the hour, the aircraft encountered a flock of geese. Uh, the geese were sucked into the engines. Both engines suddenly shut down at about this point. And you'll suddenly see the nose dip and it begins to lose altitude. And that's the point when they lost all both engines. So this is the real simulation, so it's taking about the same amount of time as the actual flight took. And uh, so here we are, I uh, started to descend and they're frantically trying to restart the engines while the pilot is continuing to fly the plane. Um, the pilot makes the decision to suddenly turn back to the airport since they have no engines to see if they can get back to the airport. So you'll see a sharp left turn. And they're still descending here. Um, the pilot makes the turn and manages to uh, hold the nose up to keep the altitude as much as he can. And uh, on the right-hand side, you're seeing the indicator indicating the altitude. Uh, we're currently at about 1,700 feet. And now you can see uh, Central Park in the distance on the left and uh, the main Manhattan Island on your left side, the Hudson River on the right. Um, they are looking and they see they cannot make it back to the airport. They do not have enough altitude to glide back to the airport. So at this point, the pilots thinking, okay, I could go in the river, but maybe I could make it to an airport on the other side of the river. And so shortly he is going to make a right turn uh, to position himself and see if maybe he can and make it over there. Meanwhile, of course, the uh, co-pilot is trying to restart the engine still, but they're having no luck doing that. So here he is starting to turn right and uh, it doesn't take them long to realize that they're not going to make it to the other airport. So he is going to line up with the river and keep his altitude and glide as smooth as possible down the river to give emergency workers enough time, as much time as possible, to try to respond to them before they land. And uh, here in just a minute they're going to gradually glide down the river and make the landing. And if you're a pilot, uh, you can appreciate just how hard it was to fly this plane with basically, uh, in his case, with no thrust at all. In the case of the F-16 here, you actually have to add just a little bit of thrust uh, to keep it from falling right out of the sky because an F-16 really doesn't fly very well without some thrust. So you can uh, fly this flight yourself with Google Earth. 
the flight simulator is built into Google Earth and it's free and uh, see if you can do as well as uh, I did I'm actually a real pilot by the way I fly a, a general aviation just small aircraft but uh, I've had some experience using Google Earth for a while now and uh, so I was able to recreate this uh, flight I think fairly accurately at least in terms of the altitudes so here he is he's making the final approach down the river down to less than 400 feet and uh, he's got to line up down the river in the very final moments here he goes And I did not have the 3D buildings turned on because it uh, definitely slows down the animation a little bit to have all the 3D buildings of Manhattan, but you could turn those on and see them. There it is.